Because of all the snow out there on the road, everyone drives by like three miles an hour like they're doing a fucking drive-by. Oh. Oh. I just want to play. Huh? What's that? Ah. Gotcha! Hey there, kid. It's nice to meet ya. You're Edge, right? Of course you are. You don't have to tell me. Anyway, greetings from USTA headquarters! Little old me, the name's Welch. As you can see, I'm a bashful little girl. I'll be the one supporting you from Earth, okay? This'll be fun! <laughs> 
Looking forward to working with ya! Cheers! Uh... What is it, Edge? What's with that look on your face? Oh, you don't mind if I use your first name? Nah, of course you don't! No, I, uh... Boy, is this one indecisive or what? Yeesh! Hey, you need a good poke in the eyes, is that it? Come here! Poke! Poke! Hey! Hold up a sec! Ah, oh, man. I heard each ship would be getting support from Earth. But I never imagined anything like this. Haha, <laughs> didn't think your support would be so cute, did you? Anyway, from here on out, I got your back, man. Straight to the fiery depths of hell! Uh, that's really not the kind of thing I want to be hearing before takeoff. Oh, relax, you'll be fine. Let's see now, your first destination is... Planet Eos, right? Fortunately, the unmanned exploration craft didn't report anything dangerous out there, like giant outer space bugs or whatever. So yeah, no worries. Go for broke, Edge. <laughs> <sighs> Is this the kind of support we're to expect, ma'am? Ma'am? What am I, your mother? We're gonna be together for a while, kid, so let's dispense with the formalities. <sighs> oh, looks like you got another call. Oh well, enough lovers patter for now. Talk to you later. Yo, Edge. <sighs> Edge, hey! Don't just cut the transmission like that! This channel is not for communication with the captain of the Kalnis, sir. Or is there something a common crew member can do for you? Captain Crow F. Almedio of the SRF-001 Aquila? Pretending to be all dutiful doesn't suit you, Edge. You skipped the departure ceremony, didn't you? Who cares? It's got nothing to do with you. Raimi was upset. You really can be a pain sometimes, you know that? You done? Look, just don't be too hard on her, okay? Seeing the two of you fight makes your big bro so sad. We're not actually fighting, and would you quit with the theatrics already? It's really irritating. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, Edge. Does it really bug you that much that I made, Captain? <sighs> Actually, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think it's only natural you were promoted. Yes, as. It's just... <sighs> you're getting so far ahead of me. You really haven't changed at all. Still the same kid you were back in school and at the academy. <sighs> I'm not as far ahead as you might think. There's no need for you to rush yourself. Goodbye. Wait a second! Edge, you realize just how important our duties are with the SRF, don't you? Nope. Oh. Everyone shares the same responsibility, captain or not. Look, we're all in the same boat here. I'm just as nervous as you are. Captain Almedio nervous? <laughs> what, we expecting meteor showers tomorrow? This isn't a joke. Look, Edge, how should I put this? Let's both give it our all, huh? Yeah, let's. Great. Well, that's all I got for now. Looks like it's almost time. Bon voyage! Bon voyage? We're going to the same place. Oh well. I suppose I can't stay mad forever. All right then, let's get the show on the road. In the theme of these games is generally technology meets you know, ancient. So I assume we're gonna crash land somewhere. All eventually. hands in position. SRF-003 Kalnis. Initiate launch procedures. Roger. So, this is it. Indeed it is. We've charged these children with the future of our species. Let us salute the departure of our seeds of hope. <laughs> Zero, zero, 001, Aquila, launch preparations complete. Zero, zero, 002, Belena to follow.
You've all been trained well. Keep a steady hand and perform as you always have. The time to step forward is upon us. Brave pioneers charged with the destiny of mankind about to depart for space unknown. I pray for the success of your journey. Aquila, launch confirmed. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, preparing to launch. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, launch confirmed. SRF-003, zero, zero, Calnus, engage! Yes, sir. Initiating launch. One hundred twenty seconds to warp out. Gravity balance, ship functions, all normal. Prepare for warp out. Finally, Eos, and I'm gonna be the first to take that one small step onto the surface. <laughs> you really are just a big kid, Edge. Hey, it's a big deal for a guy, all right? An honor. Edge, be careful to keep the ship stable when we warp out. Yeah, just ignore me, why don't you? I'm getting a gravity reading. Okay. There's a meteor-like object crossing our planned trajectory. But from this distance, I can't confirm any gravity wave interference. Meteor? The unidentified object has passed us. I'm detecting some minor fluctuations in the gravitational field. A meteor affecting our gravitational field? Isn't that strange? Yeah. Kelnus, commencing warp out. Ten seconds to warp out. Nine, eight, seven, six. Hey! Uh -huh. oh! What the? What's going on? Status report! There's a fluctuation inside our wormhole, sir! An abnormal gravity wave is spreading fast! It's producing an error in our subspace flight tracer! Too late! We can't avoid it! What? Captain, interference from the gravity wave is spreading throughout the wormhole. Our planned warp out point has disappeared! We're gonna lose our navigational coordinates! Damn! What about the other four ships? No idea, sir! I'm not detecting them in subspace! 
Input a new coordinate axis. We've got to initiate an emergency warp route. Raimi, I'll handle three, five, and nine. You take the rest. Coordinate access input complete. Warp out preparations complete. Edge! Everything's ready. Captain! Emergency warp out. All hands, brace for impact. Change out of your protag armor so you can blend in with the locals. Put Damn. on a cloak for fuck's sake. Did we uh, crash land? Oh. Probably shouldn't touch the thing that's sparkling with electricity. Where are we? Gotta manage the output's pretty high on that thing. does not look right. I feel like that's a graphical glitch and not how that fog was supposed to actually look. Bergen G. Raimi? Raimi! <sighs> Raimi, wake up! Edge. The first female I met in the game. Thank God we're all safe. Healer. At least no one's critically wounded. Let's be grateful for small mercies. I'm issuing new directives. Status report. Poor fuck, sir. Damage to the ship is severe. The Kalnus is in very serious condition, sir. However, based on my analysis of the data, I can say with confidence that we've arrived on planet Eos. All right, we made it after yeah! all! Please, continue. 3,000 years in the past. We're not the only ones who crash-landed, sir. I've detected other ships in the vicinity that probably encountered the warp anomaly. The Countess is here. Here's the Belena and Dant de Leon. And the Aramia. First, let's join the Belena and Dant de Leon crews. Once we're back in operating condition, we'll request further instructions from USTA headquarters. Any questions? Captain, what do you think happened to the Aquila? <sighs> it appears the Aquila attempted an emergency warp out as well, but I'm afraid that's the only information we currently have. Well, there's your answer on the Aquila. It concerns me, but there's nothing we can do right now. We have to concentrate on the task in front of us. The repair crew should prioritize subspace communication functions. We can't do anything without comms. I need those repairs completed double time, understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Maverick. Sir. I'd like you to scout the area around the ship and make sure we're safe here. Yes, sir. Go grab a drink real quick. 